Hello CAE users welcome to passion to flood with CAE for CAE engineers and freshers today in this session we are going to discuss about so connections so uh, assembly to do assembly we need a connection there are so many different different kinds of connections what we can see such as spot weld arc weld seam weld right and adhesive mastic sealers laser weld and joints so today in this session we are going to discuss about a hood or a bonnet connection this is the closure right so it is a closure part so which will close uh, engine and engine uh, portion right so this part means hood which consists of uh, outer panel inner panel reinforcement panel and hinges are there right so what are the closures are there almost all closures such as bonnet is there deck lid is there doors rear door or a front doors are there all are consist of the out, uh, this outer panel inner panel reinforce, uh, reinforcement panel and hinges these are the common things what we can see in almost all closures so in this session we can see see this is the full vehicle in that this is the bonnet right so so this bonnet consist i told that outer panel inner panel right so this is the inner panel this is the outer panel and these are the latch bracket is there and hinges are there over here right so and what are the connections which what we can see in the hood uh, sub assembly hemming is there adhesive is there hinges are there latch joint and spot weld are there so in this so we can see hemming and adhesive because hinges and all these uh, three so we did in uh, previous videos right so next move towards hemming so what is hemming hemming is also known as a clinching so so almost all uh, closes so we can do this hemming we are doing hemming right so such as doors we can do hood deck lid so these are the closures so where exactly we are going to carry out this hemming so hemming is done as a form of attachment between ho hood inner and outer means it may be door inner or outer right or deck lid uh, inner or outer as other attachments for example uh, other attachment like bolts welds can cannot be used because this is very very important point what you need to understand because these are the show surfaces exposed surfaces means which are exposed outside the vehicle right so which is so if if you did uh, some bolt connections or a weld connections so what happens the exposed surfaces the aesthetic aspect will go off and at, at the same time so it will affect the aerodynamic uh, behavior also so that's why so whenever you are doing this hemming so this plays important role so in engineering so without harming the aesthetic aspect and aerodynamic effect so that's why we are using this hemming so for example if you are using mastic means such as gums and adhesive we are what we are putting if we are putting because so at the outer edge if you are keeping what happens sharp edges so which will extend at the geometry so that's why these things are not desirable right so that's why so we are doing hemming so below uh, slide you can see this is hemming how exactly we are doing so see this is this is the outer panel and this is the inner panel outer panel thickness uh, consider it as a t1 and inner thickness as a t2 right so these things how exactly we are doing the hemming connection means this width is there no this is the hemming width right so here so in meshing what we are doing only outer panel until this point we are meshing until this point and so we are not meshing this area this hemming area we are not meshing right so this is one this one this thickness for example this outer panel t1 is there and this is inner panel t2 is there so outer panel this thickness until this the thickness is t1 and another thickness this is t2 right this is the extra thickness 
so that thickness we are adding to this inner panel so this is how we can connect the or uh, do the hemming right so the same thing you can see so here so is the hemming area right so in this slide you can see so in so i'll show you so this is only this is the extended part right this is the outer panel this is the this is the outer panel and this green part is inner panel so here this area is you know this area what we did is hemming we did so this is so simple so using ruled we can do for example i'll show you by deleting two elements i'll show you this so this is the hemmed area right so go to ruled node by path right mesh delete surface can set it from here to here and here to here so it is simple hemming is by doing rule but the thing uh, thing is that thickness what you need to assign for this is the total thickness this thickness we need to add this thickness and this thickness so this thickness below thickness is there no this t2 thickness in t2 thickness we need to add t1 thickness to this area elements so this area element so this area element we need to add the twice the thickness t2 plus t1 so at the same time you need to keep in mind it should it shouldn't it shouldn't penetrate right so this is how we are doing hemming it is so simple right so in previous videos we did a hinge joint or revolute joint so this is the bracket where exactly so this inner panel so which is screwed or a weld and here so we are doing revolute joint you can please uh, check revolute joint so you can define the same thing here revolute joint sir right here alert joint here alert joint here here at this point it's a latch joint so latch joint how we are modeling for simplicity we are using rizzards only nrvs we are using and whatever the yellow color you are seeing this is a adhesive right so inner panel and outer panel wherever these things are there no here you can see l make transparent these are the areas where exactly we are adding adhesives so which will help in damping damping the system and at the same time see these are the areas where exactly where exactly we add a adhesives right so so i'll show you the same thing in a simple model F8. Go to F8 and create node, and go to 2D page. In that plane, you can select right. So the axis is Z axis. In this plane, I am selecting. So this is the base point at 100 by 100. So we created a mesh, and you can rename it as sheet one. Right. So even though you can copy it or you can create a new component and you can sheet 2 so you can change the color of your interest and go to shift f4 duplicate current component and on this plane so i can translate by 5 mm plus or a minus direction so let us create it right so you can assign property material everything so now why i'm not going to do uh, show those things so in this what we'll do go to 1d page in that connectors in that go to seam so you can select 
hexa adhesive right so this is the hexa adhesive so the spacing means one uh, adhesive point to another adhesive point and the tolerance five means the gap and this width so generally the width of adhesive is 6 mm so or 5 mm it all depends upon the requirement right so for example i'll select from here to here okay and i'll select this component this both the component and i'll create so now adhesive or a mastic whatever we are saying it is generated it is a created right so here here only strip is there and coat is there what exactly it means what does it mean i'll show you another point from here to here i'll i'll create somewhere else like this right so can select i want two strips so you can see the strips there are two strips are there like this right so i want two coats right so these are the coats this and this are the coats and this and this is uh, this are strips if you are get confused you can make it a single strip and two coats so you can understand easily right now these are the coats one coat and two coats right so if you want two strips you can select you can once again you can see these are the strips right you can see strips quotes means along this i'll show you once again these are the two strips are there and two quotes i'll show you only one strip i want and i want two quotes see these are the quotes so you can see one quote and two quote these are this is two strips and this is only one quote and one strip this one right and another thing what you need to remember is so here the contact defined over here right so what contact it us interface select this guys once again i'll show you go to analysis page go to interface in that you can select this so node to surface type is node to surface right and card is also node to surface add so here so what you need to remember is master surface what are the master surface this uh, this sheets what are the sheets we are having these are the master surfaces and these are the hexa elements are there no these nodes hexa element nodes are slav nodes so i'll show you see hexa and as you see master parts are tied is that right so you can see analysis page in that you can see the sets so that is part set this is part set so if you still if you are having a confusion what i'll do i'll delete these contacts and i'll create it manually and i'll show it to you so automatically it will create so it is not necessary what are the green thing you are saying it is so these are the connectors right these are the connectors if they are not connected properly it will show the yellow color so if means they are not joined right so master i'll select master mm, sorry so this is adhesive right so can node to surface is there so create it it is created here 
and here add is there so here i'll select component so these are the two sheets so they are master just update it and next is slab slab means these hexa elements select this and update it now you can review so this is the master and what are the red notes uh, what are you are saying that is a slab so you can review this option display what are the blue in color they they are the master entities though these are the slab entities okay this is not sufficient once again what do you need to do go to card image edit it so what do you need to do here you need to set to tied shell so what we are doing we are tying these things these slab things we are tying with what these sheets master one right so this is what it is how we are creating and hemming how we are creating hemming means what simply you need to do ruled what i showed that so if you come across any doubts and all please uh, in comment section you can comment it or you can mail me at mspca at gmail.com so i can uh, clear your doubts if you have so please subscribe my channel and uh, uh, like it and hit the bell icon so you can get the re uh, newer updates thank you one and all have a great uh, have a great uh, participant so thank you and bye bye